Hello everyone, so this is my car with the stock engine mounts. Uh, it's actually extremely smooth when it, when it idles, um, as you can see. Now I'm going to go to my poly filled engine mounts at stock RPM, which is just under 700 RPM. It has massively increased the vibration, but it's it's okay. I don't mind the increase in vibration. I actually liked and slash wanted a bit of vibration. Uh, however, when you put the air conditioning on, which increases the RPM, it is completely wildly out of control. You can see the whole car is shaking and uh, the little tub of water is moving away. It's, it's unbearable. Now this is a stock startup, uh, which the engine shakes. Interestingly enough, uh, with the changed engine mounts, it actually sounds different. It sounds definitely better um, and um, pretty cool. I would, would have liked to have kept the engine mounts, but honestly, as with the new engine mounts, it uh, is way, way too vibrating with the air conditioning. Okay, here's a close-up of the vibration. It doesn't really pick it up because the uh, the frequency of the camera recording and the engine vibration it shows it kind of strangely like this. This is actually real time but it looks doesn't look like this at all. The engine is shaking quite a lot. Here is the, the engine mount. Now I've 3D printed a flat disc which I then greased and pushed on. The idea is that the grease would work, at, work as a release agent and also kind of fill up some of the gaps. That worked extremely well, uh, that idea. And it was very easy to remove, just pull it off, and it didn't leak. Now the stuff that I used was this Flex 60 Dry, which is a uh, one-to-one poly urethane. Uh, it is a 60A, and it's important to, to keep note of the letter, because that's a different scale. I then um, put it in some sand, and the idea is that you can use the sand to get it level, and also if any does leak out, which it's a little bit dead, is it works as a clotting agent. So this is definitely a great way to do it. Then I just poured it in and let it sit for a couple of days. And after it, it looks really professional. Uh, it looks really great. You can see those lines on there. Those lines are actually the, the grease. I didn't have the grease perfectly smooth. They use quite a thick, old, nasty grease. Unfortunately, there is that little hole which obviously the polyurethane didn't go all the way around and fill in. It's very thin there, so it doesn't really impact it from a usability point of view. Um, so uh, the polyurethane mount did reduce wheel hop. It did make the car sound better. It did increase vibration at idle, which I actually wanted. Uh, and if, it, but however, it's just way too bad with air conditioning. It must be a resonance thing because it's with the air conditioning off at idle 100 rpm lower and it's fine but as soon as the air conditioning kicks in it increases the rpm by 100 it's like totally undrivable so unfortunately i'm having to revert back to the stock engine mounts